Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this week's video, we're going to make a stand for our Raspberry Pi powered OctoPrint 3D print server so we can print to this new Prusa i3 Mark III from wherever we want. One of the really cool things about OctoPrint is um, it allows you to basically, uh, you don't have to have a full dedicated computer to this. Now, with 3D printers, most times you can, you can print right off of a SD card, right? As I drop it and lose everything. But I want to be able to access this from a variety of places. On top of that, Octoprint lets you do things like hook up a webcam so you can view this remotely. It lets you upload files from wherever you want to go. You can uh, do configuration. You can even run a slicer on this. You, so you could take your raw STL file throw it on, on this and the uh, little Raspberry Pi can slice it up and get it ready uh, for printing. So it's really cool. Pair that with this Prusa i3 Mark III, so it's their new one, uh, new printer, and you've got a match made in heaven, really, in my, in my opinion. Um, this thing is rock solid. Uh, you know, Nika did most of the assembly on the printer. I'm really proud of her. But uh, she knocked out most of it, and then I, I came in and did some of the fine tuning. But she did quite a bit, and she, you know, not bad for a 10 year old. Um, the directions are very well done. There's only a couple of little things that I had to fuss with here and there, but for the most part, it was really simple. Uh, they give you a, uh, a two pound or one kilogram spool of uh, thread. Now, it's their brand of uh, thread filament. Sorry. And it's their brand. It's really, really nice. Uh, I did several prints with it. Uh, the kids all wanted to print different things, and so I was showing them how to use it, and it worked great. Um, I threw this old uh, filament in to do a test, so I unloaded the, the uh, filament they sent. This stuff is over a year old. It sat in the storage unit. It's been exposed to moisture. I put it in. I, I you know, loaded it. It prompts you, and you know, to. Uh, ask if the new color is coming out properly. Once it is, you clear it off. I pressed print. I didn't change any settings. It just printed, and it did a really, really nice job on these, uh, on these, uh, on these legs here. I mean, just it's very, very nice quality. Uh, this side is a little gummy. That is actually glue. Right? So I used the glue stick on here. I don't know that I really needed to, to be honest but there's a little glue build up in there and you know that'll, that'll come right off. I'll clean that up. Not a big deal. These straight off of uh, Thingiverse. So it was a really easy, um, really easy to find a model that, you know, so I didn't even have to do the model myself. Somebody had already done it. Now these are designed to, uh, to support this Pi touchscreen uh, without the extra uh, cover on it. So it's got recesses for the different mounting points in there, the visa mounts, right? But I'm gonna leave it on here because I kind of like the way that it looks and everything still lines up pretty nicely. You just have to use slightly longer screws. So I'm gonna do it that way. I like the look of all of this and uh, I think it's gonna be a, a nice way to set this up. So we'll be setting this printer up in its own little station with the spools and everything else because the idea about this printer was to get a 3D printer that was reliable enough that I didn't have to be involved. Right? I'm trying to encourage other people to do things, and so that was part of it. So make it so drop dead simple that anybody can use it. And I tell you what, this one is it's awesome. I'm I, I can't cannot say enough uh, good things about this. Um, no, I'm not sponsored by them. I did pay for this. Uh, unit myself, and I tell you what, it's it's uh, it's pretty incredible. I'm I'm happy about it. Uh, so, anyways, thanks for watching. Well, let's just wrap this one up. Um, I've babbled long enough. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you didn't know, I've got some new T-shirts out. If you want to take a look at that, that's over on Teespring. It's uh, Teespring slash IMW slash Clothing is the direct link, and I should have a link to that up on the screen. Um, uh, that one's just going to run continuously. It's had to, you know, it's that time of year again where we're all, you know, booking everything for the summer bash and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, just trying to do a little fundraising to help defray some of those costs uh, for that uh, live stream that I'm going to be running out there. Um, but yeah, anyways, 
appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all of the uh, the nice comments. Um, I posted some uh, some pictures over on Instagram of Nika doing this build, and you guys are great. You really are. Um, I I can't say it enough. You know how much I appreciate you. So thanks for watching, and I'll I'll see you again soon.